What is up guys, Tips here, back with another deck build. So today, you guys are probably going to like this one. This actually got me to my first master rank, top 100. And it is called El Knock You Out Burst Deck. Get it? Like, it'll knock you out. Alright, anyways, that's, oh, that's lame, that's lame. But, um, let's get on with the deck build, right? So, we have 24 Fredge Lord cards, and we have 16 Piltover cards. The main crust of this deck is it revolves around Ezreal and the Elnux. Before I get into like detail into what every card and component of this deck is, I want to quickly cover the mana curve. So as you guys can see over here, it looks like an aggressive, like a really aggressive type of deck. But don't let this fool you. It's actually a control deck. The normal way that you want to play this, which is how I'm going to explain it today. I see actually a lot of people playing it in like low plat or like high plat, low diamond kind of mid-tier diamond but they just don't know how to play this deck correctly so I'm gonna be explaining the true way of playing it 70% of the time you want to play it control I'm gonna explain the other 30% and stuff while this video keeps on going but right now this is how I want you to kind of in theory conceptualize this deck right how you most likely want to play it so it's got a lot of spells more than your actual units so you always want to control the deck and how is this deck gonna control um, of the board Basically, it's going to either stop the enemies from attacking in some way or destroy them. Those are two ways to stop the board. So now that we know how this deck is, right, it just has a lot of spells that are really low cost. And Fredge Lord has a lot of low cost spells, um, th which is why the mana curve is like this, right? Um, yeah. So now that that's out of the way, we can get with the whole actual deck components. So Ezreal, of course, is the main player here. For you guys that do not know how Ezreal works, um, I'll explain. As soon as you play him, he's an elusive, meaning that, you know, another elusive can only kill him or a spell, not like a regular minion. Um, next, he, when he Nexus strikes, he gets a fleeting Mystic Shot in his hand. And the Mystic Shot costs two mana to play. And, you know, it can deal damage to anything, right? And his level up is the whole point of why you want Ezreal in this deck, right? If you target eight enemy units, you level up to this look at this sexy motherfucker but yeah you level up to this guy and you get a you keep the same nexus strike um with a mystic shot but in addition if you cast a spell now you deal two extra damage to the enemy nexus which is crazy because this is where the whole burst concepts comes in right oh also if you have two of him in your hand he becomes an extra mystic shot which is balls it's bananas in this deck so with ezreal um you need to have targets right so this deck is basically just focused all on targets you get all the targets so that Ezreal can level up and then you just shoot spells up your uh, and then you just shoot spells like crazy until you end and win the game in, t in one turn or two turns so now I'll go through the actual cards right you have thermogenic beam deals uh, you spend your mana and you deal that much damage to a unit right if you had six mana you deal that six to any unit and it's good it's good because you're slowing down the game right Basically, if, let's say it's turn 6, right? Someone like a Shadow Isles is 100% going to play Hecarim. He plays Hecarim. You use this Thermogenic Beam. It's like a trade-off, right? Nothing happened. So now, the whole point of this deck is you want to wait things out. You want turns to go by. You want to stop the unit, their enemy units from hitting your Nexus that hard. You just want to, you know, control the board. Get all of your 8 targets on Ezreal while you're controlling the board. And then as soon as you get Ezreal, that's it. You you go haywire, you go crazy on the next turn, and just end their like life from like zero to twenty. It's that simple. Brittle Steel, Frostbite, uh, three or less, right? Three or less uh, enemy with three or less health, you're gonna give them zero attack. So it's stoppage. It's not destroying like Thermogenic. It's stoppage. You have Icefield Archer, another target. He Frostbites. Great, great to stop. Um, you mo you most likely always want to play Icebolt Archer when they play a minion down. So that when you play him, it stops them from doing anything. And then they usually end their turn. And that's like, you know, you're, you're making the turns go by, which is good. Mystic Shot. Of course, you need this. And it, it's so good syner synergy with Ezreal. Uh, you shoot one of this, he's going to deal basically four damage. Because if Ezreal's leveled up, you know, that's two, and then another two, and then let's see you shoot another, that's eight. Like, this is the deadliest thing in this deck, honestly. But it's also good for clearing minions, like elusives, early game, depending. You know, it's just a good clearing card. Marksman, deal one to any enemy unit, another target. Uh, good cleanup for those little, you know, those little cheap minions with one health that are annoying to kill. Flash Freeze, another Frostbite, but for bigger minions. Or, you know, it could be used for anyone, but it's probably one of the best cards. Um, and also for the frostbites you want to use this not only to stop them from attacking but make good trades i'll explain the trading in a bit we're almost there 
Avalanche, I just kind of threw this in there because it does help on aggressive decks to kind of clear their board or like mid-range decks that are kind of starting to build their board up. I just don't think it's worth having two or three Avalanches just because I think, let's say they have an aggressive deck and you plan to hold two Avalanches, I think that's really slow. Um, by turn three or four, let's say you use both your Avalanches, you clear their whole board, they're just going to keep coming and you have no board whatsoever. And I just don't like I just think like especially the way like you know Jinx decks are nowadays and you have like Darius out there like it's it's just uh, aggressive decks are gonna fly through Avalanche so I just have one in this deck but you can you can make adjustments so now the second core of this deck is the Elnux right of course you have the Bull Elnux and then you have the huge troop of Elnux this is literally what you want to play in theory all the time at turn five in theory no matter what, you want to drop him because for the most part, if you guys don't know how it works, you summon, you know, each Elnuk in the top 10 cards of your deck. I just read the exact description, but literally you can get a whole board of Elnuks on turn 5 and you literally just won the game. It's that, it's RNG based, but it's good RNG based in my opinion. You have better odds and even if it doesn't work out, you're, it's not the end of the world. Like this Ezreal deck is meant to control the board. Even if this didn't work out, right? At least you have a 3-3 and you can still do stuff, right? And... Like, what would you rather do, right, in this case? Like, what, if you have a Chump Womp for 4, like, 3-3, three, three, it's only, it's not that different. And it is one more mana cost, but at, at that point, if you're playing a higher ma uh, minion, it's just going to be not worth for this deck. So, you'd rather roll this RNG, if that makes sense, rather than have, like, a 6 mana that's just, like, a 1 card, right? So, for the Elnux, what I mean by making good trades with Freezes, if, for example, you have a bunch of these guys... You always want to control the board, right? You want to make good trades. You want to destroy any of their creeps so that you can keep consistently attacking with your Elnux every turn. They're just going to be so annoying. Let's say you have three of these, right? Because of Troop of the Elnux. Well, four it would be Troop and three of these. Imagine he's like playing cards like uh, Chump Womp, right? Or he's playing cards like Avis and Marksman. You want to do Frostbites on them every time so that when you, when you trade, you take zero damage. So now this is like going to be insane for him because he, in his head or his or her head, they're going to think, wait, what do I do now? His board has four minions, which all have four attack. And like he also is an Ezreal burst, meaning I'm going to die eventually. If I play minions, he's going to constantly target all my minions. Then he's just going to go Ezreal and just burst me while he has a board. Like that's what makes this deck so deadly you just have so many different entrances to win the game and it's beautiful so yeah and then harsh winds another frostbite for two enemies and then progress day this is literally what makes your deck insane because like you want to pop this if you're doing good in the board currently it slows you down in terms of like oh you know you're you're controlling the board but you draw three cards and they're the costs are reduced by one meaning all these cards are going to be played like they could be played in like in synchronous right and you'll literally just end the game in one turn if you have Ezreal on there just because these cards are reduced by one imagine three mystic shots worth zero mana like that's crazy and then you could just on top of that add more like uh, add more of these spells out there like flash freeze like avalanche uh, that's really slow but like harsh winds and also another thing i want to cover is the spells how they work you guys should know how they work but just so you guys understand how this deck works you always want to save your burst cards. Literally, that's how you're going to win the game. You play Ezreal, you use all of your burst cards, and you win the game. You usually don't want to use these fast cards, right? You only use them if you have to, because fast cards can be easily denied by an elusive, right? Four cost card to play deny. Or they, you can, they can, elusives can also like send back Ezreal to your hand, and then that won't synergize with the Mystic Shot. So you could easily miss lethal just by doing that, like by misplaying with that fast. So you always, for the most part, want to rely on your bursts. Slow, you know, of course, I'll explain it. Slow, you play it. They have a turn to do something, right? And you can only play slow on your turn. Burst, you could play it on your, anytime, anytime. It's like a response to anything, which is amazing, right? That's the whole point of why Ezreal is great. They can't stop this. But then fast is where they can actually do something to, you know, stop your play. So that's why you should stay clear of like fast like only use it if it's necessary and make sure you're looking at the enemy to see how close they are to having like that deny or having um that return to your hand card or having like you know just cards like healing and stuff like that yeah i think that's about it honestly and then you have rummage right to cycle in it's a one cost burst let's say you recycle two minion cards and you get two mystic shots like you just did two, two damage and then now you have eight damage from two mystic shots 
if you have Ezreal on the board who's leveled up, right? So now quickly, gonna just talk about that last 30% of how you wanna play this deck. If they're an aggressive deck, you most likely always, always, always wanna look for your Bolt Onux, cause that's what's gonna give you that early advantage um, in this deck. And yeah, cause like you're not gonna last, just survive by static shocking them, harsh winning them, flash freezing them. A lot of the minions like nowadays have one like attack and four health. Um, there's some that are like two threes, two ones, right? That's that's easy to clean up, but it just becomes so overwhelming at this point that this is not gonna help. Even Avalanche isn't gonna help you. So if they're an aggressive deck, you wanna for the most part try your best to get maybe Mystic shots and just hope for the build, uh the what is it, the troop of the Elnox right here. If they're a mid-range deck, you have a good chance to really win and shine here. You wanna for the most part play like a control deck right here, right? If they're they're mid-range. Um, just control everything they do it, like i know elusive has a really good burn uh, elusive deck it's pretty mid-range they just buff all their minions if you can stall them for every turn you play ezreal you just bump everything let's say you progress stayed you just land everything at once and you end them and gg and if it's a control deck be careful because this is a control deck like i said but it's not the best control deck out there no way in hell like karma they can easily out control you Cards like Trindamir, cards like Anivia, but yeah, these cards will literally are, are better at controlling than you. So in that case, you just want to go mid-range, right? You want or mid-range to like aggressiveness. You want to start playing Troop of Elnux early. You want to go drop your Ice Veil archers not on their turn, but on your turn to go aggressive. That's the only way. If they have control cards, you want to just go more aggressive. Always, okay? Oh yeah. So now the other percent that i didn't i forgot to actually include is the the mirror decks so let's say you're versing an ezreal mirror deck how you win and beat the other ezreal easily always you want a mulligan for troop of alnux whoever gets troop of alnux first wins the game like 99.9 percent .9 of the time so you always want a mulligan even if you didn't get him on anything and you have ezreal like i would honestly just scrap ezreal and just look for alnux and a second uh point of advice if you don't get the troop of alnux you get it maybe the next turn like you're already losing like, you still have a chance, right? Sort of. Not really. Uh, like, honestly, it's 99.9%. Because now, like, let's say you don't, you know, you take all this damage. Like, it's so much already. Like, how do you recover from that? If he's an Ezreal Burst who can deal just as much damage as you can, right? Um, but the second thing you could do is, let's say you guys are fighting, right? You guys are doing pretty good. Now, you, he hits target before you do. He, hits, he gets all eight targets. He levels up with Ezreal. But, of course, he didn't play him yet, right? So the whole point now is you want to save a thermogenic beam in your hand so you can beam Ezreal out of the out of the playfield so that he can't use any of his of his spells. So that's literally how you can beat. You have to constantly always clear Ezreal every time. Mystic shot him, thermogenic him, avalanche him, get him out of the freaking field. If you can get him out of the field. He can't do any of his wombo combos. So that being said, right, you have to make sure you control the board with the Elnux if for any mirror deck and you want to ensure Ezreal is not on the board. Most likely never want to play Ezreal first. You want him to either, you usually want him to pop Ezreal first, get rid of him, and usually they don't have another Ezreal in their hand. You know, sometimes you'll have two or three, but it's like, it's hard, it, it's rare, right? But like, that's usually how I've been dealing with those mirror decks and I've been winning for the most part. And with that being said, we're actually going to play my... My video of how I got masters and the exact, like you'll see how I was thinking in every step of the way, every turn, and how this deck can be really fun if you, but you really have to put your mind to the task, right? But yeah guys, hopefully you enjoy the video and please give this vid a like up, um, comment, sub man, really appreciate it, kind of gonna be coming out with more decks of course, just for you guys, uh, really enjoy making content for y'all, so stay tuned, right? Holy fuck, we need one more, bro! <laughs> Yo, we need one more! Holy shit, dude! We're almost there, we're almost there! Right, I'm gonna record this one, dude. Let's let's hope I don't tilt, bro. Let's hope I don't tilt. Archangelist. Come in. Yeah, man. Archangelist. One more. Dude, like, I, I got lucky on this streak, though, dude. Sometimes I get really fucking hard. Ah, oh, no! Archangelist. Okay. Chat support our host here. Make some noise. Laughing Dead ass, face. right? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna have to trash all this. I need Bull Elnux. 
Sorry about that. I need. I mean, I need the troop. Man, RNG didn't come into play. At least we got a two. Archangelist. Why didn't save one easy? Dude, Ezreal's not gonna help me in this situation. And I'm probably gonna draw him in a bit. Just from versing this deck a bunch, he he has a better late game than I do, so Ezreal isn't gonna help unless I have the bull Elnux. So, look, I already drew him anyways. Archangelus. Elus. He has no answer except spells which still can't kill your E. Archangelus. Uh, let me do you. Easy asterisk. Uh, you might have a point there. No, what uh, you you have the drain. Um, the thing is, they usually get um karma, and then they do the drain constantly. So I can't even get Ezreal on there. And then they basically only play this when she's like enlightened. So it literally always kills your Ezreal. It's so dumb. I will play my part. Oh shit! What the fuck? Yeah, that's that's not gonna look good. <laughs> this is bad. Uh, I might have to whack Arcangelist. her. Archangelist. Yeah. Nothing to do. Am I just gonna have to whack her? Just so I can brittle steel next turn in case. That's fine. Cause then she's gonna keep doing fives and I can't have that. Fucking Ezreal. I need troops or I'm gonna lose. He's I'm telling you, he's just gonna go hella hard on me. Come on, Willy! Let me get some of that Willy boy. Wait a minute, he's playing Demacia and Karma. Damn, that's some insane control. For the homestead. You cannot escape. He's gonna give himself health. Okay. Honestly, I'm kind of happy with that. That's fine. We're gonna. We gotta keep him alive, though. Nice. Okay. Cool. We got the board. We got the board. Ah, uh, that's what I like to see. I thought he was gonna give him health, and keep him alive. That would have been hard, dude. I don't think I'd have to get lucky with frost I'm actually really happy that he didn't get that Break their spirits all right it's fine it's fine swords. all right we got past the hard part for the most part well not really <laughs> the hard part is just gonna start coming oh we got it <gasps> please dude if we if we fill bro that'll be insane man yo troops troop oh man I can't stop this No, that was part of the combo. Damn it. No fucking willy, bro. Oh, man, I'm fucked. This motherfucker, dude. If he didn't kill him, I would have gotten three in there. Damn, willy, you, you beat me, bro. You beat me. Willy is a child abuser. Should I add another or just try and do this? I think we should add another. Yeah, let's go, let's go. I'm looking out for Judgment, by the way. Seven mana. <laughs> Always forget. Judgment, Demacia, Runeterra, that's eight or seven. Okay, cool, he didn't do shit. So yeah, Judgment is eight mana. So he can't even do that. So mad, dude. Whatever. It's not like I was gonna. It, it's fine. It's like I drew all these because he didn't do anything. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like the, basically this proc because I wouldn't have done anything on this turn to begin with. So that's funny. Close my eyes. Dude, what the fear. fuck? Bro, is this it? Willy? Willy, you scaring me, bro. Look at that hand. He's got clearance somewhere. Ah, oh, there's your clearance, bro. There's your clearance. Archangelus. You still can win him in two turns. Yeah, um, I'm debating. 
It's only for that turn, right? Originally, she's a six, five, four. I think I'm gonna get him killed. I'm gonna keep four, five. Archangelist. Frost no, 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 no. Why would I frost? I wanna keep his five health, because five health is more important in this trade off. Four health is kind of easy to kill. Four, three, six, five, four. Yeah, nah, nah. I think this the five, five is the deal. I think that's the best, honestly. If I fuck up, I fucked up Archangelist, but I personally think that that's the best play. Archangelist. Yet yeah, actually. Archangelist. Better play. My it, bad. It's fine, dude. It's fine. I frostbit one of them, right? Yeah, I think I'm gonna get tramped. Harry, repost, you are hot. Damn. I need Ezreal to basically win the game before he heals everything. I need progress at this point, I think. It might not be too slow. The thing with- he's waiting to get enlightened. If I can get a progress day, I'll be set because I have all these cards. <sighs> yeah, I need progress to basically call it a day because this is what? Two? That's going to be at five, then six, and hopefully I draw some stuff for more point clicks, and I think we'll be good. We'll be set. Okay, it's fine. I'm just going to static shock these guys. He's probably thinking about buffing. I don't have any frost. If I had frost, it would have been perfect. I would have just kept... He's going to buff this guy, I'm pretty sure. And since I don't have frost, I have to... Oh, there we go. We got our frost. I was going to say, we have to deal with stupid judgment. Okay, I'm going to keep that guy there, right? Nah, 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 nah. We should just go face, right? It's not like he's going to... Demacia, what can an elusive do? I think we should just pop Ice Veil, right? Point click it, and then just go face the next turn. Because how could you kill this, right? Without wasting spells, yeah. I'm going to be aggressive as shit Winter with this. Because he's going to win at like 10 plus. So I'm going to be aggro. I don't, right? What what does Demacia and Elusive have? Alright, see? That's fine. That's a slow ass play. Oh no. Fuck, I should have kept him. That's fine. It's fine. Will Harsh wins. Damn, dude. And it has lifesteal. That's some bullshit. That's the shit I don't like. All right, we're going to have Ezreal, though, by next turn. So we're going to strike everyone, and then we're going to harsh winds. He's probably going to go for a judgment play here. Holy fuck. All right, we're going to have to frostbite both of those. Thank God we got harsh winds. Okay, so I'm going to have to go face, and I'm going to harsh winds, and then hopefully next turn I'm just going to Ezreal win it. Yeah. This is too slow. Actually, is it? Yeah, it's bad because I won't be able to frost wins next turn. Three, four, five. Oh no, I will. Right? Three, four, five, six. I'd be fine. Three, four, five. Right? Yeah. What am I debating at? I think we should just go for this. Because the then I could play Ezreal at the end there. No, he has no way to clear, dude. I should just fill up the board. Fill up the board. Alright. I have I, I gotta have faith in my plan, dude. I have faith in my plan. He might give him health to live make it make his karma live, but as long as I can clear the board. If he plays another lifesteal, I'm fucked. Then that's where he basically outplayed me. He's gonna give him health. Holy shit. All right, so he did a switcheroo. Damn, that sucks. Please, if he plays a light, another minion, he's... Damn, I should've just attacked. I should've just attacked. I Well, he used single combat, so Ezreal will live, but I don't think that's gonna help me. Yeah. That's not gonna help. Actually, no, no, no. I was thinking of putting Ezreal. Damn, I think he outplayed me with that. I didn't expect him to have single combat. I will learn from you. See, he's thinking he has health. It's fine. All 
Alright, that's fine. You're cleared and you're almost cleared. And we got Ezreal next turn. And I think we have combat. We have lethal next turn if he doesn't heal, right? Bro, bro, we're almost there. We're almost there. Yeah, we have Rummage. We have Mushroom Cloud. We have an extra Ez. Okay. If he does he can't heal right now, right? What do you have at three mana? Archangelist. Come on, win IT man. I'm gonna rummage out of this. I'm gonna get rid of this. The dark oh, okay, okay. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. That's three, four, Arcan five, that's six. Two X easy and then two X two, equals four. Win. Oh shit, I won! No, 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 right? Because as as is three, three, four, five, six. Oh wait, Arcan and two, jealous. four. Oh no, we're almost there. Two X easy. No, I want to wait. I want to wait. Jealous. He might have a uh, a way to kill me. He might have a way to kill me though. I'm gonna wait for him to do something over here. He might. He might try to. He might try to do single combat or something. Hold on, let, let's let's think about this. Archangelist. Oh, I won, I think. Right? I should just go face with Ezreal's thing, right? Right? I think so. What can you do at five uh, mana? You, you have deny, deny. I'm gonna wait. I he might have deny, bro. I'm just gonna wait for my turn, I think. Archangelist. 2x Troom. I know you're yeah, thinking. Yeah, 2x Troom. I'm gonna do 2x Troom and I'm gonna wait. Archangelist. Yeah. I'm gonna wait for. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna pass on this. I'm waiting to see if he does anything. Archangelist. I go unseen. And pass. Shit. He's de he's definitely has deny, bro. I think I should just pass. No, he's gonna heal seven. That's a lot. Should I just go face, bro? Fuck. I'm gonna go for it, man. Fuck it. Archangelist. No other options. Deny or not? Sad face, dude. Sad face. Hope burns on. Ah, that shit fucking hurts, bro. Progress day, please? Archangelist. Sad, but nothing to do. Archangelist. Hope I to talk might deck. have to rummage this. Holy shit. My spirit is an unquenchable fire. You know, where there oh is man. Life, there is hope. I think I should kill her, right? I think the place to kill her. Archangelist. Deny? Nah, she's not gonna have deny, dude. She already used it. I think I'm gonna have to go for her head. This, this will be 6-5, and then I'd get lucky with these, but... Should I fucking rummage it for fucking... 6-5? Nah, I think Thermogenic Beam is the play here. Archangelist. Kill it. He's gonna have to pay. Yeah, he's not gonna be able to kill Ezreal if she he saves Karma. Archangelist. <laughs> Before it lays eggs, laughing face. You're not wrong, bro. Oh shit. 
what the fuck was about? What was that about? Archangelist. Ugly. He might still be able to heal with uh, five. Five uh, Grasp of the Undying on Ez. I feel like he's going to do some shit like that. Who does not know oh, fuck. Long. I have to fucking... Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm going to pass. Fuck that. Dude, I have to win this soul. next turn. <sighs> Spell, please. Archangelus. Oh! OMFG. Oh, we won! We fucking won! <laughs> you called the no, no, we didn't. We didn't win. No, we didn't win. We didn't win. No, 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 no. No, no, I can't use rummage. Oh, my fucking lord. Oh, my fucking lord. We didn't win, bro. I, I have to discard two. If I use flash freeze, I'm going to go for it. I think I'm going to discard these two. Fuck it, dude. I, I have to yellow it. I, yeah, I can't win. Wait. Because this, you can't, you need to discard two or you can't play this. Oh, take your time, pal. Honestly, bro. No, as long as Ezreal's alive, I have a chance to win, I think. No, but he might be able to heal off. That's my problem. I think I'm just going to rummage and just yellow. Archangelist. If he doesn't, he buff up the Chalanger. Archangelist. Frostbite the heal. Archangelist. FCK yet. Archangelist. Outplayed. You think I should flash freeze this? I think so, right? He doesn't have any other answer. I think I should just flash freeze that, but he might kill Ezreal, which is the problem. Right? I should flash... I think... Because there's a reason he's doing that. Oh, wait. Did he loot? No. He, right? I think we should flash, right? I don't want to go with the autistic play. We're going to go for it. He might have a heal on Ezreal, dude. That's what I'm hoping. I'm, I'm not hoping. Dude, Puff Caps have... To, he's going to kill Ez. 100%. Yep, as is done. Oh, Save the homestead. No way. Oh wait. <laughs> Should I avalanche? I it would get me out of No, no, I'm going to wait. I'm going to hold. I'm going to hold. No, I'm going to hold. Yeah. I'm going to hold. Actually, no, I should, right? Before he might get a deny or something. I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna hold. I, I'm gonna hold, uh, I just... Oh! Oh! Archangelist. You are much more mana efficient if avalanched here. Laughing face, Archangelist. OMFG. Archangelist. Top deck RNG Jesus is here. Hold on, hold on. Please play a big minion, bro. Please play a big minion. Everywhere I go, the light follows. Archangelist. Deny. Yes! We're fucking master boy! Fuck yes, bro! Fuck yes! Archangelist. GGW. Fuck yeah! <laughs> Yo! Wait, um, why do they start me out of top 100? There's like top. Holy shit! Holy shit!